I don't know why I wore this bomb hat in the first place. I mean, look at it, it's dirty, it's old. I should probably throw it away, but I've been making videos for it for like about two years that it's kind of impossible for me to not take it off. But I will take it off at one point, and that is when I'm going when um I am going to a wedding. My cousin is getting married. You know, he's he and his um girlfriend has been together for like maybe two, three years, I forgot. But you know, they decided to get married. Now they're gonna get married on November second. And I'm happy. You know, I'm happy for them. If it was a guy, you know, if my cousin was dating a guy, then yes, I would still have the same reaction. I would be very, 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 very happy. So, what does marriage, what my cousin getting married, have to do with this video? It has to do something with marriage, and it has to do something with homosexuality. A guy named Christian Taylor made a video entitled, Why Gay Marriage is Wrong. Oh goody, another one of those videos. Okay, <laughs> let's see. If this guy is going to quote from the Bible or use the Bible as a source of, um, of his justification or something like that, I don't know. How about we just get it over with? I just want to talk for a second about gay marriage. Um, right now, it's a hot topic. You know, Maryland and several other states, you know, just legalized gay marriage, and uh, you know, the country as a whole is you know thinking about putting it on par with heterosexual marriage. Um, you know, it's a big deal right now too because the Supreme Court is um, reviewing the DOMA, you know, the Defense of Marriage Act, which currently limits um, marriage to just between a man and a woman on the national sort of federal scale. Um, and there's a lot of reasons that I think that we shouldn't have gay marriage. I think gay marriage is, is a bad idea for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, I think gay marriage is a bad idea because no society in the history of mankind has ever practiced gay marriage. You need to do your research, kid. You really do. If you actually done your research, you would know that Romans... You know, before the the dawn of Christianity, <sighs> gays, there were loads of homosexual activity between men, and of course, I believe there was a an island called Lesbos Island. I forgot, but that's where women get to kiss and make out and have sex and whatnot. And I believe gay marriage was practiced there as well. Gay marriage, um, and I think this is this is telling, you know, considering that, uh, you know, that no societies ever practiced it. Because I think you know it's understood by human nature that, you know, marrying two people of the same gender is sort of unnatural. Okay, first things first. One, your God is unnatural. Okay, how is it that you're okay with your God being unnatural, but you're, you're against homosexuality? Okay, we all know that you're a Christian. We, we already know. And second, there's no such thing as unnaturality. If there was no, you know, if, um, in order for homosexuality to be unnatural, it must not exist in nature. But it does exist in nature. Animals practice it all the freaking time. There are gay dogs, gay cats, gay animal, um, gay alligators, gay frogs, gay elephants, etc., etc., etc. How is it that it's okay for them to have gay intercourse, but not us humans exactly? Um, and you know, not to say that homosexuality 
has never been practiced. I mean, certainly in ancient Greece and Rome, for example, it was it was rampant. It was a rampant practice. But uh, but marriage between man, uh, two males or two females, was you know never something that was even considered. I mean, it was it was going far. You know, it was sort of off the cliff, I guess. Um, and yeah, you know, some some people talk about how you know the there's you know particular societies like. I think there's one in Native Native Americans culture that that practiced something that kind of looked like homosexual marriage, and you know there's a couple scattered, um, you know scattered sort of things that maybe look like it a little bit, but I think it's safe to say even if we can find a culture in the world um, that does practice homosexual marriage, it's far smaller than the number of cultures even that practice cannibalism. Oh, that's. That, that right there is just so stupid. I can't even comment on it. Homosexuality is practiced more around the world than cannibalism. I believe maybe 0.01% of the world practice cannibalism, while about 10% of people practice homosexuality, which is why people are less and less people are condemning homosexuality. But people still have the problem of, you know, having a problem with cannibalism. And, you know, cannibalism, again, I mean, cannibalism is just as natural as homosexuality. Because they're, in the animal kingdom, there are a few species, around 1,500 species, um, eating their own kind. And that includes herbivores. Yeah, herbivores. But I think another reason that I oppose gay marriage, and that everybody should oppose it, is um, that gay marriage is really just changing the definition of words. I mean, like I said, nowhere in history has marriage ever been, you know, considered, be, you know, a homosexual union. The meaning of words have changed throughout history, and also, so does tradition itself. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit like just saying that something is something else. It's like if I was to say, well, you know, I'm just going to call a strawberry an orange now, you know, for no good reason. Because I don't think it's fair, you know, for strawberries to have to be called strawberries. That's discrimination. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to call it an orange. That is extremely stupid. I mean... Marriage has always, since the beginning of time, meant a union between man and woman. Nothing else. That's the only thing that it is. And so you can't just go around, you know, redefining words and saying, well, you know, we're just going to make this an equality issue. It's not an equality issue. It's, it's a Webster's definition. We also had a very long tradition of having women behind the counters, making sure that women don't get you know, any successful jobs. Oh wait, we live in the here and now where women can get jobs, where women, you know, can get money, where women can be millionaires or billionaires. What, are you saying that we should go back in the dark ages where Women are nothing more than a bunch of stupid tools where women, where a woman's job is to just cook, serve their husband food, and take care of children. Is that what you're also trying to say? Traditions have changed throughout history. Eventually, the entire world will accept homosexuality as it is. And you, along with a few of your homophobic friends, will isolate themselves to the world. Who knows, maybe Texas might be the only state to not have homosexuality. And that's fine. We can sell Texas to Mexico, and Mexico can have Texas back. You know, that'd be really great. You know, let's get rid of all the bigots in the world, and then we can live happily ever after. The end. Issue. Um, uh, I think another reason, though, um, you know, at least in America, is that the Founding Fathers and our traditional core culture, uh, Western civilization, is, you know, violently against any, against gay marriage. 
even, you know, sodomy or, you know, homosexuality. I mean, every state in the Union has, uh, in the past, had laws against, you know, sodomy laws against homosexuality because it's recognized as being, you know, something that's unacceptable. <laughs> traditional society and when we abandon you know the traditions of our civilization then you know we're really sort of giving up you know it's it's a sign of cultural decadence um, but uh, you know the biggest reason I think that we need to be against it is that you know the Bible comes out very strongly against it I mean I'm a Christian and you know this country was founded as a Christian nation and I think you know um, we Christians um, in this Christian nation need to be against it on biblical grounds you know, you know, you were doing so goddamn well, you know. You were doing well for for a Christian until you brought up the Bible. And now you're just like everyone else saying that we should be against homosexuality because the Bible says so. Wah, wah, wah. Your Bible, your little cookbook of stupidity is not really a good book. You know, it's not really a good source material in order to prove something to be right or to prove something to be wrong. It's just based on fucking faith. You know, sodomy and homosexual actions are clearly condemned in the Bible. And um, I don't think that we need to be condoning and encouraging that kind of behavior, um, you know, as a nation of people. <sighs> First of all, only in the Old Testament has, um... Homosexuality has been considered as a sin. Only in the New Testament, it's only mentioned about three times in the in the New Testament about homosexuality. And it's not like it's against homosexuality. To me, it sounds more like a neutral balance. I mean, they don't really care much about um, homosexuality, at least in the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, it's all hateful and bigotry. I mean, the New Testament, you know, it's a slight improvement, but just barely. Because I think God makes it very clear that, you know, it's not just individuals who are judged, you know, it's entire nations of people. And if we as a nation say, you know, we're, we're perfectly fine with people just rampantly committing sins, and in fact, we're going to endorse them on a state or government level by issuing gay marriage, I think there's no way that God is not going to... Um, you know, issue some sort of judgment on a nation that, you know, so publicly, uh, you know, endorses something that he hates. Second of all, you're saying that if you live in a nation where it's all sinful and stuff, and you're, a, you know, part of a small group of people who's against this sinful stuff, you die, God judges you. And he judges you as if you're no different from the, the group of people who are sinful. And he sends you straight to hell. Yeah, this makes God... This is... <sighs> yes. It's official. God is a jerk. Okay, your Christian God is a total freaking jerk. This is why I will never believe in him. This is why many, many people are leaving Christianity for good, joining agnosticism, theism, or atheism. I don't care which one you join. If you think with rational thoughts, that's, you're okay by me. If you believe that there is a God, fine. Just don't act stupid. <sighs> I really am hoping, I am hoping that you are watching my video. Chances are that you're so goddamn busy praying to God that you don't even know that I exist. Hell, the only reason I know that I know that you exist is because of Mr. Repsion. So I gotta thank him. Hell, I don't even know why I'm making a video response to you at all. I, I feel like I'm wasting my freaking time. I should be outside playing some basketball. I should, 
you know, be eating at Red Lobster or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so goddamn gullible into thinking that maybe if I make a video response to someone who's a total idiot, perhaps this total idiot would acknowledge my existence and we can have a little ourselves a little flame war or something like that. I don't know. That's all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Twitter. Peace. The game out.